Christ died on the cross for our sins, sir. Only Christ can save you, not the watchtower. Repent, believe the gospel, repent and believe the true gospel in that Christ died, sir, on the cross for our sins. Not the gospel, not the watchtower. Sir, you shake your head as if you know the Bible. Read your Bible, sir. Read the Bible. We know who the Alpha and Omega is. The Alpha and Omega is Christ himself. Behold, he says, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give to any man according as his work shall be. He says, I am Alpha and Omega. I come quickly. Who is coming? Who is coming? It is the Son of God. He says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. He says, I am Alpha, sir, and Omega. The beginning, the end, the first, and the last. Christ is the first, the last, Alpha, Omega. You know that, sir. That you're blinded by the God of the world. May the Lord open your ears to the truth. May you open your heart and grant you understanding of the gospel. May the Lord grant you repentance and faith that you repent and believe on Christ. For Paul said, if any man preach any other gospel to you than that which we have preached, let him be accursed. If any man preaches any other gospel outside of, the, of what the Bible teaches, let him be accursed. Only one gospel. Only one gospel. And that's Christ himself. Jesus is the good news. You don't believe that, sir? You shake your head in disbelief. You're an unbeliever, sir. May the Lord, may the Lord have mercy on you. May the Lord have mercy on your soul, sir. Open up your Bible. Not the watchtower. Not, not the awake. Not, not, the, not the watchtower. Read the Bible. Read the King James. They read the Holy Scriptures. No. And that from a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise unto salvation, sir. And that from a child, sir, from a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise, sir. Not the watchtower. Know the Holy Scriptures, sir, which are able to make you wise unto salvation which is by faith through Jesus Christ. By faith, the just shall live by faith, is what Paul preached. The just shall live by faith. Know the Bible. Know the Christ of the Bible. For Jesus Christ will be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and he will punish them with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. You see, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God to salvation. True salvation, man, to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteous that God will build from faith of faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Salvation, ladies, gentlemen, salvation is only found in Christ, not the watchtower. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. You see, if, if y'all were truly people, God's people, you would rejoice to hear the gospel preached. But Paul said that some of the brothers that preach Christ out of envy and strife, and others out of goodwill, he said that one preached Christ of contention, supposed to have affliction of my bond, but the other of love, knowing that I'm set for the, for the defense of the gospel. What then, notwithstanding, you know, in, whether in pretense or in truth, he said Christ, is being preached and therein I do rejoice, yea, I will rejoice. Paul rejoiced when he heard the gospel preached. If we look around, people are like dead zombies in response to the gospel of Christ. People, there's like no reaction. It's like the word of God just bounces out their ears, out their stony hearts. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to those who are lost. If the gospel of Christ is veiled, it is veiled to us who are blind, us who are lost, in whom the God of this world, that is Satan, has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light 
of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Christ sent me not to, not to baptize. Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. But to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ shall remain an effect for the preacher of the cross. It's them who perish. Foolishness. The preaching of Christ crucified is to those who are on the way to hell, foolishness. But unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, he says, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the, of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? But to that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save those who believe. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save those who believe. The theme. The theme of the Jehovah Witness Convention is called Declaring the Gospel. Let me ask you something. What is the Gospel? What is the Gospel? Does, can anyone tell me what the Gospel is? What is the Gospel? What is the Gospel? The theme, Declaring the Gospel. But are you declaring the Gospel? Are you trusting in Christ alone for salvation? Or are you trusting the Watchtower? Are you trusting good works? That's not the Gospel. The Gospel is Christ, His finished work on the cross. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Paul said of whom? I am chief. Jesus Christ. Christ suffered once for sins. The just for the unjust. That he might bring us to God. Being put to death in the flesh. But quickened by the spirit. By which he went and he preached unto the spirits in prison. Which were sometime disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, were in few when the ark, when the ark was being prepared, were in few. It is eight souls were saved by water, through the water. The like figure, without even baptism, now even saves us. Not the pure the way the fifth were fresh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ who is God into heaven and has sat down at the right hand of God angels, authorities and powers being made subject unto him are you trusting in Christ for salvation for the forgiveness of your sins or are you trusting in good works good works can I save you a young rich man came to Jesus saying, Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus Christ said, Why? Why do you call me good? There is no one good but one, and that is God. Jesus Christ said, No one is good but one, that is God. Is Jesus denying that he is God? No. Jesus is simply asking, why do you call me good? Do you know Christ? Do you know Christ? And does Christ know you? Because not everyone, not everyone who says to Jesus Christ, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but only he that is doing God's will. This is the gospel in that Christ died on the cross for our sins, and that he was buried, and that he rose again. The third day, according to the scriptures, that's the gospel, that's the watchtower. Sir, repent. Repent and believe the gospel. This is salvation. Repent. Believe the gospel. Repent. Believe on Christ. You must repent. You must repent. You must repent and believe on Christ to be saved, delivered from the wrath to come. For Jesus Christ is coming back a second time. Christ came once. He is coming again. Behold, he is coming with clouds. Jesus is coming with clouds. And every eye will see him. 
and also all they that pierced him, and all the kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. It is so, he says, Amen. He says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Are you born again? Have you been quickened made alive by the power of the Holy Spirit? Or are you still dead in your sins? And you, happy quickened, who were, who were dead in trespass and sins, when in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience, among whom we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath. You know, outside of Christ, by nature you're a child of wrath. By nature, a child of, children of wrath, even as others, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace, we are saved. By grace, we are saved. Have you been saved by God's grace? By grace, we are saved and has raised up together and made us sit, sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus in the ages to come he might show the exceptions of Christ his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus for by grace we are saved through faith and that not of ourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any of us should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe on Christ. What must I do to be saved? What must I do to be saved? Repent and believe on Jesus. Not the watchtower. You see, Jesus Christ said, if you only greet those who greet you, what we won't have you, if you only greet those in your circle, just like the Pharisees, they only greet those in their circle. If you only love those who love you, what do you do more than the public concern? If you only greet those who greet you back, what do you do more than the publicans, than the unbelievers? No better than the publicans. You want to be born again. Unless you're born again, Christ said, you cannot see the kingdom of God except any born of the water and of the spirit. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh, it is flesh, it is carnal. That which is born of the flesh, it is flesh. But that which is born of the spirit, it is of of above, of the Spirit. Marvel not that Christ said, you must be born again. Jesus Christ said, come unto me. Come to Christ. Come unto me. All you who labor and are heavy burden. He says, I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly of heart. And you shall find rest for your souls. Only Christ can give you rest for your never dying soul. Why do I say never dying? Because this is what Paul preached in Romans chapter two. Or do you despise the riches of God's goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing the goodness of the Lord leadeth you to repentance, but in accordance with your hardened and your impenitent heart, you are treasuring up wrath for yourself against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render to each person according to their deeds, to those who by patient, continuous, and well-doing seek for glory and honor, immortality, eternal life. But to those who are contentious and obey not the truth, but obey unrighteousness. What await you people is indignation and wrath and tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man, upon every soul of man that does evil to the Jew first, and also to the Greek, 
and you might think I'm a good person, I don't, I don't do evil. Examine your heart in the light of God's word. Have you kept the commandments? You shall not lie. How many lies have you told? You shall not steal. Ever stolen anything? Regardless of the value. You shall not commit adultery. And Jesus Christ said, whoever looks, Christ said, but I say to the whoever looks, another woman to lust after her, sir. Every time you look at another woman to lust after her, or vice versa, women not men, you are guilty of adultery in the heart. And you shall not murder. You shall not kill. When whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Whoever hates the church. Whoever hates the body of Christ. Whoever hates, whoever hates a true believer. You hate believers. You hate the true church of Christ. You are murder of heart. Hatred towards the body of Christ is murder in the heart. And you shall and honor your father and your mother. And you shall have no other gods before me. Who is your God? Is it the Godhead, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Oh, but you deny Christ. You don't honor Christ as you profess to honor the Father. This is the truth, friends. You reject Christ. You reject the Son. You're not honoring the, you're not honoring the Godhead because it is Christ who said, Surely I come quickly. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. If anyone does not love, if anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, if anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. This is what Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, which means eternally condemned. Oh Lord, come quickly. Out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. Out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts. Adultery, sir. Every time you lust after a woman, you're committing adultery in your heart. Out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. Adulteries, fornications, and sex before marriage. And what is adultery? Adultery is unfaithfulness to your wedding vows. Do not be deceived. Do you not know the unrighteous? They will not inherit the kingdom of God, sir. Do you not know the unrighteous? The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither fornicators, sir. Those who fornicate, those who commit sex outside of marriage, sir. How are you going to make it in heaven? How are you making it in heaven as a fornicator? No fornicator, no idolaters. Those who love the things of the world more than Christ. If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be eternally condemned. Oh Lord, come quickly. You see, no fornicator, no idolaters, idol worshipers, those who worship and they serve the creature rather than God, the creator, the God of fake hugs, all the fake, all the fake greetings. It's all facade, it's all a show. Trying to appear godly for men, put on a show. But do you know the gospel, sir? Do you know the gospel? What's the gospel? Tell me what the gospel is. Imagine I'm lost. I got two minutes to live. Okay, what must I do to be saved, sir? Help me out. I have two minutes to live. What must I do to be saved? Huh? You're not gonna answer, so you don't care about my soul. You don't know the Bible, right, sir. Here comes the elder, trying to the, here comes Satan right here, trying to hinder the gospel. I asked him what the gospel, you don't know what the gospel is, you're lost, my friend. You cannot be saved unless you know Christ. And he knows you. This is the gospel, and that Christ died on the cross for our sins. You could have said that, but you don't, because you don't know the gospel. You didn't, because you don't know Christ. Know Christ, my friend, repent and believe on Christ, in what Christ did on the cross for our sins, sir. That's salvation. Christ, if, you see, whoever loves, whoever believes the Son has life. He that believes not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. You see, you're not trusting in Christ, God's wrath is upon you, my friend. If you're not believing on Christ, God's wrath is upon you. You see, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up 
that whosoever believeth in him, in Christ, shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, in Christ, not the watchtower, that whoever believes in Christ, on Christ, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, through Jesus, might be saved. He that believes in him, he that believes on Christ is not condemned, sir. You're not believing on Christ. You're not. You're believing on the watchtower. You're trusting the false prophets. You're trusting good works. You're trusting your performance, sir. In your performance, you're hoping to inherit the earth forever if your good works are good enough. But the Bible says that all of the righteous deeds are as filthy rags. The sacrifice of the wicked, the sacrifice of the unbelievers is an abomination to the Lord. The Lord does not accept your filthy rags. That's all they are. All of our good deeds that we try to do to earn salvation are as filthy rags. But the sacrifice of God the sacrifices of God a broken and a contrite spirit. These, the Lord God, does not despise. You see, that's the Pharisees. The Pharisees, like whitewashed tombs, outwardly appearing beautiful, pious, appearing godly outwardly, but inwardly for dead men's bones. Full of hypocrisy. Full of hypocrisy. You're not born again, you're dead in your sins. You're covered by religion. You're covering yourself by fig leaves. Fig leaves cannot save you. You must be clothed in the righteousness of Christ. You must be clothed, sir, in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Fig leaves is religion. That's religion, that's fig leaves. It cannot cover you from the wrath to come. The Passover, Christ is our Passover lamb. Christ is the way, the truth, the life. Christ is the Alpha, Omega, beginning, the end. The, the first, the last, Christ is the door of the sheep. Jesus Christ said, I am the door of the sheep. Jesus Christ said, I am the door of the sheep. Jesus Christ is the door, the straight gate. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God, but only through Christ, not the watchtower. The watchtower is a false prophet. It is a man-made religion. There is a way that seems right unto a man. But the end thereof is the way of death. There is a way that seems right in your own opinion, in your own wicked heart. But the end thereof is the, the way of death. Repent and believe the gospel. For the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Outside of Christ, we have a wicked and deceitful heart. We need a new heart, and only Christ can do that. You must be born again. Cry out to God, Lord, have mercy on me. A wicked sinner. Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to the Father of by me. So salvation is only found in Christ, because you and I, sir, everybody here, we've all sinned against God. We've broken his commandments, lied, stolen, committed adultery, if not, physically, just by looking with, you know, with lust, for fornication, all these people are guilty, and they know they're guilty, but see, they're trying to find salvation in, a, in an organization rather than looking to Christ, only Christ can forgive us of our sins, understand that, see, what did Christ do for us, Christ died on the cross for our sins, according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day, uh, according to the scriptures, we must repent and believe on Christ, it's simple, that's the gospel, sir.